Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are truly grateful that you decided to stop by and check us out. Today we're going to be focused on a new axolotl enclosure build. This is not our first endeavor at an axolotl. We have a wild type axolotl in the fish room that we set up this enclosure for right here. Today's video is going to be a little different. We're not going to be doing some crazy naturalistic scape. We want to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money, don't have to have any aquascaping skills whatsoever, and you can use some basic components to build an enclosure that will allow your axolotl to not only survive, but to thrive. So with that, it's time that we get out and go ahead and pick up all of our components. decided to go with a black Mexican river rock and the reason for this is because this axolotl is a light colored axolotl and it'll contrast nicely against this stone. In my naturalistic scape it's hard to see the axolotl because it is a wild type so he's green and brown and he blends in and is totally camouflaged. I went with this larger substrate and that is because axolotls have terrible vision and they are also aggressive eaters so when they go in for their prey they can actually suck in small pieces of gravel, sand, things of that nature which can cause them to become impacted and can injure them. So you should always go with a larger substrate or no substrate. Let's head over to freshwaterscrub.com and pick up a sponge filter. And in fact, if you need a sponge filter or any of the plants that are used in today's video, use the code AXOLOTL for 10% off all orders. Hey. Now we need to create some hides for this axolotl. And they have terrible vision and they do not like bright light. So you need a couple of dark hides. It's also recommended not to keep a light on top of your aquarium. I started by using a plunge cutter with a masonry blade and it just became tedious and was not working well so it was really not the right tool and well <laughs> I ended up just breaking it and it ended up working out just perfect. Coming back with a Dremel with a sanding wheel to take off the rough edge from where this pot was broken. My general rule of thumb is, is if you take a piece of pantyhose and run it across a surface that you've cut and it snags, then it is not safe for in your aquarium. So we'll get this smoothed down to where it's safe and it'll be perfect. I initially started by sitting the pot directly on top of the substrate and that didn't really look that great. Then I thought maybe I could just leave it bare underneath, but then there's a chance that the substrate could block the opening and prevent the axolotl from getting in or out. So instead, we're going to just place the pot directly over the substrate and the substrate will be the same height inside as it is out. We will predominantly be using java ferns in this build and one of the reasons is because they don't require a lot of light and because we will not have a light on this tank we have to have something that will survive without a high amount of light. Java ferns make great plants for axolotls because well the leaves are soft, they are not going to cause any injury and the leaves are nice and broad which means that if the axolotl wants to be out of a hide but stay hidden there's plenty of plants for it to hide in. And remember, if you want some of these java ferns, you can pick them up at freshwaterscrub.com and get 10% off your order with the code AXOLOTL. Mm -hmm. 
Well at this point I believe that we have enough java ferns in here to give enough coverage for this little guy. And the only thing left is, well, we need to add water. Now we need to go ahead and treat the water for chlorine and chloramine. And I exclusively use API products. They have been a channel sponsor for some time. Today is not a sponsored video, but I love their products. And one thing that I learned from you guys is I cannot use the Stress Coat Plus as it contains aloe, which is dangerous to the axolotl skin. So we'll be using Aqua Essential today. As discussed earlier, we're going to be using a sponge filter which will require an aerator. And on this aerator, we're going to be installing a check valve which prevents the backflow of water through this airline hose. If you lose your power on an aerator without a check valve, the water can truly drain through that airline hose all over your floor. One additional component is the Beta Cup top that'll slide over the airline hose and sit right over the top of the outlet of the sponge filter. This allows the bubbles to pop underneath this top, preventing splash over all over everything around your tank. This little dude loves earthworms, but probably is a little stressed from being moved into his new home and probably isn't ready to eat quite yet. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell and I will show you a live feeding later on. But for now, I know exactly who will eat this earthworm. Alright guys, well looking at this tank, this thing has turned out fantastic. I went ahead and went with this Mexican river stone just simply because it's bigger and we don't want our little axolotl eating any of the stone when it goes to eat because this axolotl is pretty much blind. So the fact that it's a white albino makes their eyesight even worse. So we wanna make sure that they don't eat any of the substrate, which there's no way this little guy's gonna be able to eat this substrate. And looking across here, of course, we've got our java ferns, which is all that's in here with these two clay pots for the hides. And as you saw, we put a couple of earthworms in here. And that's what I've been feeding this guy for a little while, just simply because I don't have access to any black worms at the moment, which is what I will be feeding. But everything is doing well. Well, and this little guy is up inside of its little hide right here, which we can't really see very well. You can kind of see him right there, maybe, kind of. You can see him right back up in there, but this tank will not have a light because axolotls actually like the dark. So we are gonna turn the light off and this little guy's gonna live happily ever after in here. All right, guys, before we get out of here, let's go ahead and feed this 300 gallon real quick. These guys are hungry, I am sure. And there they go. Just going crazy for their food. They really love this tropical fish flake from API. Look at that little blue ram right there. He's looking good, the ballast. There's the other blue ram back there. It all is looking good in here. And just remember, if you need any plants, Make sure you visit freshwaterscrub.com and use the code AXOLOTL for 10% off your order. Jungle Val, Hornwort, Anubias, Java Ferns that we used in today's build, all of that. 10% off, AXOLOTL. With that, guys, hopefully you went on to enjoy today's video. Thank you so very much for checking us out. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and do that. 
turn on your notification bell, all of that stuff. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links to both are down in the description. Thank you so very much for all the support, guys. I am truly grateful. Really, really, truly, you have no idea how grateful I am. Thank you so very much. And with that, hey, we will see you next time.